So welcome back to my Bangkok series. I'm here at J5, a Michelin star street food here in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm gonna share with you how I managed to do walking and the foods that we've tried inside which are very delicious. So I'm here heading towards J5 restaurant from my hostel. Time check, it's 7.30 in the morning. This is my second attempt. I went there last night around 5 p.m. and wasn't able to get in because they already sold out. They're already fully booked and there's a lot of people still waiting outside. So now I'm trying the ferry here in Bangkok. I usually do or grab a grab, which is like an Uber here in Bangkok. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but so but this one, the ferry is way more cheaper. You're gonna pay the ticket inside. There's no prior booking or purchasing ticket before hopping on. The view is wonderful as well. You can see the different side of Bangkok. But then I realized that I got the wrong ferry and I also missed my stop. Okay, I'll read this one. Panfa Leader Bridge. Okay. I missed the stop. It should be the stop before this. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take the grab now to save time. Duh. So I ended up booking grab again. Wish I paid more than what I should have paid. <laughs> but it's okay, now I'm heading to J5. Finally. So finally I'm here. Time check, it's 8 10 in the morning. So I'm here in J5's restaurant. It's my second attempt. I decide my, my name on the list. I'm number 11. I arrive here around 8. So on. Uh, not many people ahead of me, it's just 10, but there's a lot of number of people in each um, list. So I'm number 11, hopefully I'll get called today. It's still not guaranteed even though you're, you have your name on the list. So let's see, hopefully I will be, I will find myself inside and eating that crab meat omelette. <laughs> So here's their menu. It's a bit pricier than the other street foods, but it's J5 and they say it's worth it. So let's try. Time check, it's nine in the morning now and there's heaps of people already. And the list, it's now four pages. So it's really helpful if you come here early in the morning, just like what I did. That's the lady by the way holding the magic list and she's starting to call one by one. It, she's calling 10 now and we're number 11. We're next. One more, it's our turn. And they're already full house. 9 o'clock in the morning. So finally we got in. Time check, it's half past 10. The table is actually big, it can accommodate more than 3 people but as the rule, we cannot share it with anyone else just the 3 of us because it is reserved for the 3 of us Meet my new friends, they are Filipinos as well I met them here while waiting outside the restaurant We ordered this chrysanthemum iced tea to start with because we were very thirsty It is very refreshing, it's actually good It just has a lot of ice in it <laughs> So that's the infamous J5. As you can see, there's a lot of people taking pictures and videos with her. That's how famous she is. And did you know that she cooks everything in the menu all by herself? She cooks per order per customer. That's why it takes a while for you to get in and for you to be accommodated. As much as we want to share our table with other customers but it's not allowed so I feel sorry like there's space but and there's a lot of people still waiting outside so that's the rule 
Okay, so here is our first order. It's the famous crab omelette. So it's time to taste it. Five hours of waiting. Ay na nasi lao yung katabi natin. Ano ulo sa mga? Eight ten? mga eight past eight na den ganon. The moment you sliced it, the smoke coming from the inside, you can smell the aroma and it will really make you hungry. It's so enticing. The crab, it's so chunky and once I tasted it, it's so flavorful. It's very delicious. I give this first impression 9 out of 10. We've also tried this crab curry and I highly recommend this one. For me, it's 10 out of 10. It's so delicious. It's not that spicy, it's not strong and you can taste the crab. It's so chunky plus the sauce. Totally amazing. <laughs> this is my second cup of rice. My third cup of rice. And just a reminder, one crab omelette is good for two people already. But we ordered one each. That's why we couldn't finish it. We couldn't finish. Half half. Half five stars. We couldn't finish it. It's too heavy, but it's yummy. So we just finished our meal. I arrived here at 8 in the morning and then we had we were able to get inside at around 10 and then our order has arrived at 11. So it's our lunch time already. So breakfast plus lunch. Um, overall it's really tasty the crab omelette. Uh, the crab meat omelette is really tasty. It will the taste will stay on your tongue and it's so good that the chunky crab is so chunky. How's the food girl? Yummy. Yeah. So that's the J5 over there. She cooks like each order for each customer. So that's why it takes a while. See, there's a lot of people outside. Still waiting for their turn. I met um, another new friend again. Really She's Filipino. Well. Hope you find this video helpful and hope you like and subscribe as well. For my next video, I'm gonna be in Chateau Chak Market, which we tried our street food as well, and we visited some of the tourist attractions in Bangkok, Thailand. See you in my next video, and thank you for watching. Colorful. <laughs> <laughs>
unit. May pa chicken pa dun. Buri yung chicken siguro yun. Kasi ano? O nga eh. Ano naman ito? Ang cute. Ah, alam kong bilhin natin yung mga sticky rice. Kasi di pa natin na try, diba? Bilhin po yun. Tara. 